Alright, this piece will be the video setup that uh, I do. You click your display, do performance. I go ahead and set mine to high performance. I have a HD card, but I go ahead and maximize performance. I'm not trying to see the surrounding materials and stuff like that and worry too much about um, the illusions and things like that. I also do run in windowed mode with this, and this is the same setup that goes for each of the two characters. You can run full screen, although I have not tried it. I have always done it in a windowed mode with this particular setup. And then uh, you simply accept that uh, once you're suited with your screen size. All right, here will be my main and we'll do the character setup. First I will make a quick little macro I have here to invite my second to the group. There's no auto join command so whenever I do this one it will I'll have to actually switch to the alt and uh, accept that group invite. I have placed that here. Then from the knowledge book, I pull my melee attack, uh, ranged, sprint, a few other skills off there. My lightning strike here, and my other track, my other attack skills, and all that. Um, and that's basically all for the setup on this particular character. All right, this one will be my Fury that will be joining the Ranger. This is my second one. It's got a little bit more complicated setup to it because I, I built some macros and stuff. You'll notice that with the bars that I have down here. First off, we go through the macros themselves. I created a macro here to target Ditch, the primary, do a Death Swarm and a Tempest attack. That's done by changing your settings here. Do command and do an add step. It adds command. Change it to spell or ability. Add step. It provides you a box. Then you open your knowledge book, drag and drop the item in, and it'll make that one available. With the uh, macroing in uh, EQ2, you can't um, actually pause or anything between them. So in a sense, all three of these commands just get executed at the exact same time, and it can make it kind of sloppy. So really, anything more than two, maybe three commands uh, gets gets kind of messy, and it, uh, it's designed uh, designed that way. All right, we'll make another command here, another one that's my both the heals. And as you can see, I just add the spells when I drop the spells on. From here, do an uh, add ability spell, add step. It adds it when I drag it and drop the, it over here. It gives me the opportunity to provide a target for that spell to be cast upon. So it will cast to both both of those spells to the primary character to heal. Um, follow leader, pretty simple. Um, this one is just to keep the second character in line at times. Uh, do a slash follow ditch. These are both commands added. Target ditch so that uh, you know the second character will stay with me. We'll use this once I get into the game. Get teamed up again. This is adding spell and ability. Uh, added the two spells, the group spells on who the target is, and those will be who they're cast on, one right after the other. And here's the final one that I have at this point is a cure so that I can keep myself uh, healed. Um, and that'll take care of those. What I've got here is just a sprint, which I usually just put it there in case it's needed. In this case, won't need it. Melee attack. I'll show you how I'm going to macro that here in a bit. Um, then I've got my attack leader, attack with leader. I've got my heal leader, my follow my buff leader and let's see these are extra commands here I'm not going to be using this one is where I put my cure at I did that to show you where you know this is the primary row in EQ2 you know you hit button one it does one two three so on this is the alt 
uh, bar here, so you have to hold Alt and hit 1. That's the basic setup for this particular character here. All right. This will be the basic steps for a setup for a two box in EQ2. Start with a wizard. Select EQ2. I'll give you a couple tips along the way. I'm not going to use actual character names in this demo. And we'll use defaults to here. Go into the character set. I have a dual core, so I set one instance on each. The primary character sets here. We do a patch on it. The second slot, we do a change to a no patch. Save it and export it to Interspace. All right, I've gone ahead and done some of the work ahead of time, um, just so you can see. I've got the um, key map set up for my two fury, my slot two character. I've got a tell follow. I've got a cast attack, which uh, tells it to use its attack spells. Toggle auto attack, which tells it uh, you know starts it fighting and not fighting for the melee attacks. And I've got my heal leader. And just so you can see, like with the uh, tell follow, I've got a control left associated here. My one step that I do, I tell it to send a slot to the five key, which uh, I showed you on the character setup, is what that character's attack is. Now, I will come in here and uh, add another key map. This one we will call buff leader. We will associate that with a control right bracket. So whenever we press that, it will send the following keystrokes. We go in here to the step, add an action, new keystroke, tell it we want to send it to slot 2. The keystroke we want to send to slot 2 is the 6 key. So that will do the 6 key. Now we want to add our last one that we had set up in the game. We'll add a key map. Call this one Cure Leader. We'll associate that with the uh, Shift single quote. And then we will do our step. Tell it to send to slot 2. And this is where we had that one extra on the other hot bar. You'll do the Alt key. I'm going to use the left Alt. And one is going to send that keystroke uh, to the game. It doesn't matter. I'm just just uh, um, I'm just having it do an Alt one. It could have done been a right Alt one, and it still would have pressed the same key. It's got that key action associated. Now what we have to do in order to get all this to work with uh, inner space is we have we can grab our character set and we can drag it down here and drop it on the character set or the reverse can be true if we take this off here if we click on the character set there's our key maps we can take and drag this and drop this on our key maps either way we'll do the same thing all right we'll go ahead and do a save if you look back here on 2 Fury, if we go on the key maps, it'll say that it's in that character set. And then we'll go ahead and export that to the inner space. And that finishes the setup for basic macros. Alright, I'm already started up. I'm in game. I'll join the other character. Tell them to follow. Have them buff me. Casting buff spells on the other side. Attack mobs. I can do an assist attack. I 
ahead and do a tag again. There's a cure. And everything on me to show the cure works. I'm going to heal. There's the heals coming in. That's it.